YouTube, Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you our week five battle here in the BTA season eight. Uh, this week we are taking on Aaron and the Los Santos Septiles. You will have seen our team builder uh, yesterday. Um, I'm actually re recording this because things have changed slightly. Um, you will have noticed that there was a bit of a week off. That is because there was a bye week. Uh, after week five, or I think, yeah, week five kind of essentially got extended for a full week uh, to catch up because there were just some games even back to week three that just had to be extended a bunch uh, due to IRL situations. So, um, and also I've just been dealing with a lot of stuff lately. Uh, so I just didn't uh, have time to get this up sooner. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, but. You know, I had to re-record this again because of the audio in that one, and I didn't want to try to, like, edit it and, like, voice it over and whatnot. But in the audio in that one, uh, I mentioned, like, having to wait an extra week, but obviously this is going to be going up the week after the bye week took place, so, um... Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just upload this this weekend, and then next week, uh, and then every weekend going forward will continue uh, regular uploads. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So uh, you can see that uh, the team that I brought, uh, Team Builder, went up yesterday, but to go over it real quick, we got the Orkor Yusensu, Volcanion, Amoongus, uh, Raikou, Sylveon, and the Mega Absol. Aaron decided to bring the Dracovish, Rillaboom, uh, Mega Diancie, the Rotom Heat, the Silvali, and the Jirachi. So, um, really solid team. Um, kind of a lot of what I would have expected. Uh, he didn't bring the Pangoro, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, as, like, one of his biggest, like, offensive threats, I felt, in my opinion. I think it was something that definitely I f could have come to the game. And been a major threat. But, um... Not gonna say I'm unhappy about not seeing it there. So, especially because he didn't bring any um, clear uh, ghost resist, uh, so that makes Oracorio a little bit better here. Um, I mean, obviously we don't know what Silvoli typing he is, but uh, you know, regardless. Um, Unless he's like a type that resists uh, us, you know, he, he, he's it's a good situation for us for sure. Um, but yeah, aside from that, um, look, I think we have a pretty solid matchup for this one, and uh, let's hop into it. So he's going to lead with the Mega Diancie, as I lead with the Raikou, and I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I have no reason to stay in here uh, and go right out into Amoongus because it is our best defensive check to this thing. Uh, he's going to try to set up a sub, which I think wasn't a very interesting play. I think that's trying to predict a sp why I would spore in a uh, Mega Diancie. Uh, it's literally just a wasted turn. Um, so I'm going to be able to pop that sub thanks to the Giga Drain. As he's now going to go into the Jirachi, which I think I probably could have predicted that in Spore, but hindsight's 2020. I'm going to go hard out into Oracorio Sensu here on the Jirachi, as based upon the damage from the Giga Drain, I knew he had to be max HP, so I figured I could possibly outspeed. As he sets up a sub, I'm going to pop that with my Revelation Dance, and then I'm just going to continue to fire those off, as I am going to chunk the Rotom. Uh, that Life Orb Revelation Dance is huge, huge damage. Uh, I do chunk the Sivali a little bit as well as it comes in, revealing the Sivali Ground. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to miss the Hurricane. The Hurricane would have done about another... 37 to 40 percent something like that based upon his spread uh which would have been really really great damage to get hindsight obviously i should have clicked revelation dance just to get the guaranteed damage make things a little bit easier for the rest of my team to deal with this um unfortunately i didn't make that decision and uh here we are but uh regardless oracorio did so much work um Jirachi's now down at 66% because it couldn't do what it ever it wanted to do thanks to Oracorio's presence. Uh, we've chipped, got some good chip on the Savali ground, chunked Rotom to half. I'd say that's a pretty effective, you know, 
time out on the field for Oracorio there. So, yeah, it did its work. Um, so I'm going to go around and do Amoongus as he's going to parting shot out here into the Rotom as I just go for the Spore. Spore is pretty no drawback because, like, the two things that he could bring in on Amoongus that, like, stop Spore, um, I can immediately beat afterwards. Because Rillaboom doesn't really want to switch hard into me. It, it's kind of something that wants to get like a like a free switch in if it, if it can, um, because it doesn't want to take a Sludge Bomb. And Mega Diancy uh, it, between Giga Drain or Sludge Bomb, I'm pretty sure both would be able to KO th at this range. So um, Spore was pretty safe, I felt. Uh, so I'm going to switch out into the. Absol here as he's going to stay asleep and this allows me to just uh, Mega Evolve and fire off a knockoff as the Diancy comes in and I'm going to be able to just finish that thing off immediately uh, with a second knockoff. He's going to go Dracovish and then try to predict my Amoongus I'm guessing. Um, I assume that it's trying to predict Amoongus. But he's going to switch uh, he's going to double back out into the Rillaboom um, which is showing to be the Grassy Seed set uh, with Acrobatics, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to instead be switching out into the Volcanion here instead. Uh, and I'm going to be able to take that thing out with a Flamethrower as Grassy Glide does next to nothing. Uh, he Earthquakes here in the Grassy Terrain, so that's a big, big oof on his part. Um, the Grassy Terrain just helping me out here, giving me that extra recovery. And I'm going to be able to Toxic the Dracovish, uh, which is also very huge. I'm going to Steam Eruption this turn, and the reason I Steam Eruptioned is, one, I didn't see Dracovish staying in and clicking Earthquake more while in Grassy Terrain. I felt like that was not the play, uh, for sure. And nothing that he could switch in at that point wanted to take a Steam Eruption. Because Jirachi um, takes it, I'm sure, but uh, has a chance to get burned, and then also doesn't take a Flamethrower afterwards. Silvoli so Ground does not take a Steam Eruption, and Rotom dies to Steam Eruption. So, even if, like, he did stay in for some reason, I'd get at least a little bit of chip off on the Dracovish, and his toxic damage would just continue to rack up. So, there was really, like, no drawback in that move, I felt. So, you know, why not make it? So, he's going to go into the Jirachi here and go for the Psychic. And the Flamethrower is going to barely miss out on the KO. But uh, this turn, I'm going to go actually out into Absol, predicting the Psychic to come out again, and I'm going to be able to take out Jirachi with the knockoff. He's going to go into the Dracovish here again, assuming that uh, it is Scarfed and whatnot. I'm going to go into my Amoongus, because Amoongus has the Rocky Helmet for uh, reasons. Uh, I fire off a Sludge Bomb here uh, on the Rotom, get a little switch in, get a little bit of chip off, and we're going to keep firing off Sludge Bombs as he pain splits, and we are going to get a poison, which is lovely. Uh, so I'm going to go hard out into Sylveon here to tank that hit, uh, which worked out nicely. Uh, we're going to go for a quick attack here to avoid boosted uh, vicious Ren damage, uh, as he's going to get chipped down the Rotom, and then I'm just going to protect here, let the poison uh, pick off the Rotom so that Amoongus can get a kill, uh, because I like giving Amoongus kills. Um, so I'm going to quick attack here, get a nice little bit of chip off. The Ficious Rend uh, still does a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm going to protect here to rack up some toxic damage on it. And then uh, since he's locked into Ficious Rend, I'm going to use this time to switch out into Amoongus, get some Rocky Helmet chip, and then just because I wanted to, uh, I went to the Volcanion. Uh, because, it, you know, if a crit happened to Amoongus... Amoongus would also die, and I didn't want that to happen. So I can give some healing to Volcanion, and the Dracovish goes down to the Toxic. That Volcanion gave it in the first place, so it works out that Volcanion's on the field as Dracovish dies. But we were going to pick up a massive 5-0 there. Uh, really, really solid uh, matchup. Uh, I definitely think, like, matchup-wise, we just had, we had the matchup against this team. Um, our defensive Mons just completely like shut down uh his his team um like the biggest threat was probably the rotom and being able to chunk that thing early with oracorio was huge 
Um, and then obviously like Savali and Jirachi just weren't able to do anything and we had outs for like different sets than what he brought as well. So I'm not, I wasn't too worried about those and like his offensive mons like Diancy, Rillaboom, Dracovish, like we had plenty of outs for those. So, uh, it, it definitely worked out really well in our favor. Um, and we were able to pick up a big win because of it. Um, yeah, so but next week we are going to be taking on another really, really solid coach here uh, in Fish and the Toledo Wulu. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to that game. Uh, I really can't wait to play Fish again. It's been a little while since I've played Fish. I don't remember if we played last season. I can't remember, honestly. But, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. But, yeah, until then, though, guys, uh, I'll see you then. Uh, I'm Poke Primer, signing off. Peace.